So, Paramount Pictures dove headfirst into the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 filming last summer, despite a few bumps thanks to strikes. The latest buzz is that they managed to shoot scenes without the actual actors. Talk about making things interesting for the crew, right? But here's the scoop. This workaround might just save the day and keep the movie on track for its scheduled release, December 20th, 2024. Mark it on your calendars, so let's rewind a bit. The second Sonic movie hit screens a little over a year ago, and did it outshine the first one? It raked in a satisfying 400 millions worldwide. The producers were so high on the success that they practically green-lighted Sonic 3 before the premiere of a second movie. Not just that, they threw in a curveball with a Knuckles spin-off in the form of a live-action show on Paramount+. Plus. Idris Elba is officially strapping on the Red Echidna's gloves again. In a recent interview, he said that he's already laid down all of Knuckles' lines for the series, and get this, the project is kicking back, relaxing in the post-production status. You need to know that the series will tell about the origin of the Echidna. According to Variety, the storyline will take place after the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and before the upcoming third movie. Knuckles is joining forces with none other than Deputy Sheriff Wade Whipple from Green Hills. Adam Pally is officially back in action, reprising his role. According to the plot of the show, Knuckles as the tough Echidna takes on the role of Wade's mentor. Yeah, you heard it right. He's on a mission to turn this clumsy deputy into a bona fide warrior. It's like a buddy cop movie, but with some Sonic movie vibes, Wade's got dreams of shedding his awkward lines and becoming a certain certified tough guy with Knuckles as his guide. Thus, Knuckles will be a kind of prequel to the third Sonic and will be an important chapter of the film franchise. The showrunner is Jeff Fowler, the director of the entire Sonic trilogy. Now let's dive into the buzz surrounding Sonic the Hedgehog 3. The second movie already gave us a sneak peek into what's brewing for the threequel and it's nothing short of thrilling. In the post credit scene, we got a glimpse of Shadow set to be the main antagonist in the third part. It looks like the whole story of a threequel will be based on on Sonic Adventure 2. The plot begins with Sonic being mistaken for a new notorious villain named Shadow. Shadow plans to unleash a powerful weapon, the Space Colony Arc, to conquer the world. Sonic, alongside Tails and Knuckles, joins forces with Rouge the Bat, who is a treasure hunter and spy, to retrieve the Chaos Emeralds needed to thwart the villain's plan. On the other hand, Shadow is motivated by a tragic past and seeks revenge against humanity for the loss of his dear friend Maria, Eggman's cousin, who grew up on the colony. As the story unfolds, the characters' paths intertwine, revealing secrets about the space colony, Shadow's true purpose, and the importance of the Chaos Emeralds in maintaining the balance of power. Sonic and his allies ultimately work together to stop the impending disaster and save the world. The movie will also introduce quickly the origins of Shadow and his connection with Maria. She suffered from a deadly disease while Professor Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Eggman, worked on Project Shadow in hopes of saving her. However, tragedy struck and despite the professor's efforts, Maria succumbed to her illness. You can imagine the toll it took on Shadow, witnessing the loss of someone so dear, especially with the grand ambition of saving her. This heartbreaking chapter in Shadow's past leaves an indelible mark on his psyche. The scars of loss and the pursuit of redemption shape his character. As the narrative progresses, Sonic and his allies navigate a web of intertwined destinies, culminating in a collaborative effort to thwart the impending disaster planned by Shadow. The film promises a blend of action, emotion, and revelations, creating a Sonic movie that not only entertains but delves into the intricate layers of its characters and their interconnected pasts. Also, many insiders are speculating about the conclusion of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, suggesting a massive showdown between Sonic and his robotic counterpart, Metal Sonic. The clash could be intricately woven into the storyline without the direct involvement of Jim Carrey's Dr. Eggman. Paramount reportedly has three potential endings drafts of the third movie. Metal Sonic, an advanced doppelganger surfaces as a result of cutting-edge technology developed by a mysterious organization with sinister motives. As Sonic and his team embark on the mission, racing to secure the Chaos Emeralds, they begin to notice unusual disturbances in the environment. Unbeknownst to him, these disturbances are the result of Metal Sonic's silent pursuit. Shadow at this moment takes the side of good and unites against a common villain. The movie could build tension gradually, with Sonic becoming becoming increasingly aware that he is being shadowed by a formidable metallic adversary. The meeting could take place in a dynamic and visually striking setting such as an abandoned high-tech facility or an otherworldly landscape. The clash between Sonic and Metal Sonic unfolds organically, showcasing Sonic's trademark speed and agility against the calculated and relentless pursuit of his robotic counterpart. The absence of Dr. Robotnik adds an intriguing layer of mystery to the confrontation. Subplots involving other characters like Amy, Rouge, 
and Big the Cat could be intertwined, contributing to the overall narrative complexity. Sonic's determination is put to the test as he faces off against Metal Sonic in a battle that transcends mere physicality, delving into the essence of identity and purpose. The resolution of the clash could provide not only a thrilling conclusion to the Metal Sonic storyline, but also set the stage for the broader conflicts within the movie. The encounter becomes a pivotal moment, showcasing Sonic's resilience and strategic prowess while offering a visually captivating experience for audiences. James Marsden, embodying Tom Wachowski, has asserted that the Sonic 3 will surpass its predecessors in scale and epicness. He assures fans that their expectations will be met. While Idris Elba is confirmed to reprise the role of Knuckles in a threequel, Tales actress Colleen O'Shaughnessy's absence from the official cast list raises speculation. Two plausible explanations are considered. Paramount Studios has yet to update the full cast list, and she will return, or there might be a recasting due to the decision to age Tails portrayed as an eight-year-old in the second film. Unsubstantiated rumors about Tom Holland potentially becoming the new voice actor for Tails circulate but lack official confirmation. The role of Shadow also remains unassigned, with an audience in Reddit expressing a fervent desire to get Keanu Reeves or Robert Pattinson. The uncertainty surrounding the cast adds an element of anticipation as Sonic fans eagerly await official announcements and further details about the third installment. Still, we're waiting for more news from Paramount. It's certainly strange that the first season of Knuckles is supposed to be released this year, but the studio hasn't even shown a teaser. Maybe they will still postpone the project to early 2024, so there is no information about it yet, but the third Sonic should be released on time no matter what. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has become one of the most upcoming movies of 2024. The second part surpassed all expectations, earning both audience acclaim and substantial box office profit. With a larger and more engaging storyline, it not only retained but also expanded its fan base. The positive reception of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has naturally heightened anticipation for the next movie. The introduction of a new villain and the tease of Shadow in the post credit scene has intrigued all fans. The promise of exploring these characters' stories and relationships with Sonic adds depth to the franchise, making viewers eager to see how these dynamics will unfold in the third movie. Statements from key stars such as James Marsden and Idris Elba expressing the movie's larger scale and the assurance that fans will be satisfied contribute to the anticipation. The commitment to delivering a film that resonates with longtime fans while appealing to a broader audience has created a sense of trust and excitement. In essence, the combination of successful predecessors, the expansion of the Sonicverse, evolving character dynamics, promising plot elements, and a dedication to fan satisfaction collectively positions Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as one of the most eagerly anticipated movies of the next year. Subscribe.